Hello and welcome. In this video, I just want to do a quick feature slash version update on Spark AR. So version 1. Point, well, version 1.2.6 has come out, which has brought across a plethora of new features, largely hand tracking, body tracking, and we now have under a new option here called experiences. So we can now not just create our default blank projects using the default marker, facial trackers, we can now create sharing experiences. So these are basically for reels, posts, messages, stories. Uh, these can, I believe, it's, I'm not sure if it's implemented at this moment in time, but you can have multi-user experiences where you have multiple people in the same call and they have their own filters applied to each people person. Uh, in fact, that's actually the video calling experience here. Uh, that's currently in beta. So yeah, it's just wanted to kind of highlight that there is a big update. Now, obviously, I haven't done any Spark AR videos for a while, and largely because I've been waiting for a significant update to kind of start covering new features and start to, you know, go a bit further than just, here's a face feature, here's a target feature. So we're going to start looking at creating a new series of videos, looking at these new experiences, these shared experiences, these video call experiences, facial and, and hand tracking. Another thing you'll notice is we have these new uh, templates. You've got this pass the object where you can basically uh, pass a balloon, I believe, between one new caller and another caller. You have these kind of head tilt mech uh, sort of template where you can vote yes or no. Uh, a lot of the other templates are larger the same, but you've now got these kind of experiences here that tell you what type of you know template it's designed for. So in the next few videos, we'll be looking at each of these, what these experiences mean, what this brings in, how this opens up the door to creative exploration. And hopefully you'll join us in the new season of Spark AR tutorials coming very soon. So yep, version 1.2, version 1.2.6, sorry, is out. It's out on Windows. I'm pretty sure it should be out on Mac as well. And we... We'll see what these new tools, especially the video calling and sharing experiences will bring. Although I'm very excited for the hand tracking and body tracking. Just imagine having the camera pointed at a user and be able to have an avatar that can have all the hand gestures and movements kind of flow across. At the moment, we've had to kind of have the head and everything tracked to the head and it hasn't allowed for full movement of hands and limbs properly. Hopefully now that is a thing. It's been a thing with Lens Studio for quite some time. Um, but it's good to see it now coming to Spark AR. So remember to like, comment and subscribe. If you've got any suggestions on what you'd like to see, please always comment them down below and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.